Hey folks, it's Steve here with Synthrotech again, and today we are talking about yet another new module, the Ribbon Module, which is an MST series module designed by George Matson, and it also pairs here with our new Touch Ribbon controllers, soft pot controllers here, that are going to come in three different sizes. A uh, two 1U versions, a 24 HP and a 44 HP, like what you see here. And also in 3U, we are going to have a, um, a 4HP version as well. Um, let's just go through the features here first and foremost. So what we have is we have this ribbon controller. And on all of our ribbon controllers, we're going to have at least two output TRS jacks. And what those do is you hook up a stereo cable like this. And if you want it to get to be more voltage going this direction, you'll plug it at the top and vice versa on the bottom. And you can also flip this around if you want to have your, um, your jacks over there. So let's plug it to the top here. And then there's this says rib TRS, ribbon controller. We made it really easy. All you have to do is plug it in here and you're ready to go. You also can patch in an external signal if you want to do volume control or add some modulation to uh, an oscillator or really anything you really want to do at all. So, um, and then how it works here is there is a ribbon voltage output and right here, here is the output level. So you can attenuate that, make it just a little bit or a lot or really whatever you want to do. And also there is a gate out, which stays open for as long as you hold down your ribbon. Um, and there's also a pulse out, which just gives you like a trigger. So there's just lots of things you can do with that. So anyway, right now I've got it plugged into, um, I've got the ribbon voltage output plugged into the CV control of the Echo. So let's kind of hear how that works. Let's start getting a little pulse here, a little square wave pulse. And as you see here, as I'm moving this, it'll change the rate. So if I want that real, that real weird zone. And of course, I can also turn that back, bring this up and have a little more, a um, little more I can play with in that really weird zone there. Well, another real simple way we can use the ribbon module is by connecting the output of the ribbon here to the voltage output to an e uh, input of the CV input of a VCA. So basically just by touching, we can make a signal louder or softer. So let's start down here at the end. As you can see, as we move up, it gets louder. Let's put it in the opposite direction jack here. So if we start here, it'll be quieter and get louder as I go up this way. Okay, and even yet another very simple way that we can use the ribbon module here with ribbon controller is we can take the gate output, plug it directly into a VCA, as you see here, and then use the output voltage, the CV output voltage of the ribbon, to change the pitch of our oscillator. Do two hands. Okay, one of my favorite ways of using uh, the ribbon module here is by taking the the ribbon voltage out, putting it into my VCA CV input, feeding the LFO signal into the input of my VCA, and then the output going into modulation. So I can control how much modulation that I actually want to be doing or having it affect my oscillator. So we've got the LFO going into the VCO's modulation input one, and we're going to be attenuating how much that comes in. So check it out. Now, of course, we could even go further here, like we could molt that ribbon voltage output and take that same signal and put it into our CV of uh, my LFO rate and check this out. 
So I have less voltage, it's gonna be going slower. So at the same time it's mixing it in, the more voltage that I'm adding makes the LFO go faster and also brings it into more full effect into the modulation input. Now you could also use the ribbon controller along with the external signal input. So I'm taking my LFO sine wave, bringing it into the external signal input, and then I'm bringing that signal out of the voltage out. It's a passive mixer function now that you can bring in if you wanna increase the volume on something, or if you just wanna bring that mix in as well and you don't wanna use uh, a VCA. Okay, you can also do the same function by bringing an external signal in to your rig, or you can use it for volume control by using the external signal input jack here. And that, it creates a passive um, situation where the, vo the voltage output of the ribbon can be attenuated, but turned all the way clockwise, it's gonna be your full signal. And for example, let's here, let's bring in our LFO. We'll plug it in, into the output here and we can also just mix this in without a VCA. Okay, we can do some even some more complex things using both the gate out and the pulse out and the ribbon voltage out. So the gate out right here is just opening and closing our VCA exactly for, when I'll, for as long as I'll be holding down uh, the ribbon. Pulse out is pinging one of my, um, one of my envelopes here on the dual envelope, and that is then also affecting the, the cutoff of the low pass filter. So check that out. We can kind of use it to change the timbre on the fly. I can make it really short. Or have it be longer. Now, if I have something else controlling the, the one volt per octave of my VCO, but I just want to change the cutoff of the filter, of course, I can easily do that as well. So there's plenty of really fun things you can do. You can get real spacey noises, do some theremin-like playing, and uh, it just really gives you a lot of options. So thanks for checking out the ribbon. I'm sure you're better than me at that.